welcome back hunters to another episode of Helix's Wild Hunts. Today I'm very excited to be finally showing off patch 2.0 for Monster Hunter Online. It is a massive patch and things have been updated for everything. Uh, there's new level caps so now we can go from level 40 to 50. There's new HR rank, I believe it's 150 maximum. A ton of new monsters added, maps, uh, storylines, everything has been updated and today I'm going to be giving you a sneak peek of two things from patch 2.0. Uh, one of the hunts is going to be Rathlos in the story mode and the new Flame Blangonga. Now just letting you guys know, this is part of the story mode, so the fights aren't going to be as difficult or challenging as some of the HR hunts that I've been doing recently, but it gives me an opportunity to showcase some of the new creatures and maps that have been added. And especially, really excited to show off and try out the Flame Blangonga. Alright, let's get hunting! Alright guys, uh, we're on the new volcano map, and just letting you know, as I'm recording this, we are using now the new PC that I just recently built. The only thing that's missing still is the GTX 1070, which is on its way, but for now, the improvements and loading speeds of everything has been increased substantially. For this fight, just warning you too that some of the HD textures are not showing up for whatever reason on the new patch. I think it's a glitch that they're going through and fixing. So if it looks a little bit off compared to some previous episodes, please understand. For this fight, I decided to go in a pub for some reason, even though I probably don't even need it since the story mode monsters are so easy. But uh, whatever, I decided to do it anyway. <laughs> wow, I love the way the map looks in, in this game. It looks fantastic. And there's our friend Rathlos. I was wondering why they didn't include a volcano map in the, the original game, but now that we have it, I, I'm happy that they included it now. As you can see, I have the damage numbers going off uh, on my attacks. I just recently installed, reinstalled the game, so I haven't had a chance to tweak the settings like I'd like it normally, so now you'll get a chance to see what kind of damage my gun lance does. I'm definitely not a fan of seeing those numbers, though. <laughs> I'll make sure that I take it off for the next fight, though. <laughs> We've had a chance to showcase the Azur Rathlos, the Conflagration Rathian. I'm not sure, we haven't shown the regular Rathian, we've done the pink Rathian. I haven't had a chance to show you guys the elite version of the regular Rathlos. So if you see... <laughs> this is, oh, whoa, that was close. <laughs> that was some Neo Matrix dodging there. If you see how fast we take this guy down, be aware that we'll we'll go and most likely do another elite hunt in the future. Oh, down he goes. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's all I really wanted to say. So, all right, double wyverns fires. You can see it did a lot of damage there. I think over a thousand. Eh, I guess it's kind of neat seeing the damage them. Okay, there's uh, <laughs> there's the story mode Rathlos. Uh, again, uh, they're going to be fast fights in this episode, and it's really because I just wanted to show you guys patch 2.0 and start showing off some of the new features of the game. Also, one of the new updates has decreased the amount of, I guess, uh, passes or tickets required to unlock some of the elites in HR5. So that means that I've already unlocked one of the new monsters, and I'll be showing that off not this week, but the next one. And that'll be the Lightena, or Lightina. I, I don't know how to pronounce the bug's name. So look forward to that next week. All right, next we're going to go after the Flame Blangonga. All right, we're back on the volcano map. I think a lot of the story mode is revolving around some of these new maps. So right now where I'm at, I believe I'm uh, level 41 or 42. Uh, I can't even see it on the, the screen here. Oh, sorry, my bad. 41. <laughs> uh, we're going to be retracing and coming back to the volcano map a little bit here. Of course, we're going to fight the Flame Blangonga here. It kind of makes sense too. Now, I haven't seen any videos yet for the Flame Blangonga. I just know that he was added into the game. I'm really excited to see what we're going to be expecting from this variant of the original Blangonga. I'm also going now into some of the other zones that I haven't shown you yet for this map. God, I wish Brachydos was in this game. All right, so it looks like we found the Flame Blangonga. As you can see, he looks very similar to the normal Blangonga. And I see these little kind of rocks on the ground, so I'm assuming those are uh, things that we should avoid. Whoa. Alright, so we're already seeing him do some new attacks. He looks like he just... Oh, okay, I gotta be careful. So forgive me if I get hit a lot here, I I'm gonna try to figure out what his new attacks are, but from the looks of it, he managed to put two giant flaming boulders 
on his arms and he just threw them. So that's something I'm assuming we're gonna have to watch out for. He has a little bit of a... Uh, <laughs> it looks like the hairpiece on his head. It looks very similar to the <laughs> Kongalala. And right there, if you just heard him, I just noticed this now, when he coats his arms in the volcanic rock, he lets out a, a roar that sounds very similar to Rajang, which was also added in patch 2.0, which... Oh man, I'm very excited to fight him on this game. Not really! I'm really scared, guys! And my Wyvern's Fire here. Nice. Managed to trip him and land both hits on him. As you can see, I shut off the damage numbers because I ain't need no damage numbers while playing this game. Oh, wow. He's managed to do a lot of attacks that have sent me flying across the map. I'm curious how hard it is to actually get hit by that move that he does with his uh, Volcanic Rock Fists. Uh oh All right, so, uh, I guess similar to his Frost Breath, he now has a Lava Breath, but he, he shoots it at an arc, so uh, he'll be turning from left to right or right to left, kind of like how the Gravios does with his Fire Blast. Oh man, I really love this map. He is definitely uh, a bit more of a challenge uh, compared to the regular Blonganga. And I think he put me on fire, so uh, as he lifts the lava and throws it up in the air, he leaves a trail of, I guess, molten lava on the ground, so if you step on that, you will get the flame debuff put on. So just do a quick hop step and you'll be... Whoop, went into the other zone accidentally, my bad. Time to uh, heal then. <laughs> just uh, do a quick hop and then you'll get that flame debuff taken off right away. I was kind of hoping that they would have done a secondary, uh... Sorry, not a secondary. I'm, I got a little bit sidetracked. Oh, that was close. That was very close. I didn't even have my shield up. He seems to get enraged pretty easy, too. The way the lava just pours off of him is incredible. Now, I'm sure there's a, uh, a setting to get the hair on his body moving, but again, I'm not sure why it's not letting me change that. I have the HD textures downloaded. It could be just a glitch in uh, the new map or in the DLC that just came out. I should probably heal. That's a, that's a good idea, Helix. Oh. Run away for a moment here. It seems like he doesn't really aim too well with that attack. Maybe he might be a little bit different in HR mode, though. Put a little bit of fire going up his bum bum there. Wyvern's fire. Maybe I can stun him before he... Oh, wow! That was the finishing blow. All right, so... That was the Flame Blangonga. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, I'm going to be trying to fight this again once uh, I unlock HR rank 6 or 7 or 7 or 8. I, I'm, if you guys know what the new, the actual ranking system is, cause I think someone before was saying that it's only HR 5 that was unlocked and then 6 and 7 weren't out yet. So I, I don't know if that's how they've set it up. Let me know in the comments below. Alright, so that wraps up another episode of Helix's Wild Hunts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that fight. Next week, we're going to be checking out the Lightenna, a brand new monster added, and it's going to be the HR Elite version of that fight as well. I wish you all happy hunting, and I'll see you all on the next level.